Hi, thank you. Very, um, very good presentation. And this overlaps. Um, sorry, I don't have my video on. I'm competing with teenage boys home from school. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm really curious just if this is in a post conflict sort of environment, two kind of sort of questions. One, just how much of their past and any sort of trauma that they experienced was that seen or, you know, expressed in any of their artwork, any of their comments, anything like that? So that's the first part of my question. My second part was this seems to relate a lot to the future consciousness scale that they're developing at the University of Turku um, in Finland. So just curious about um, feedback on those two questions. Um, well, uh, first question, uh, you are talking about uh, the um, background of the students, uh, as I understood. Um, most of them uh, are indir indirectly affected of the conflict, uh, national armed conflict in Colombia. And uh, they are not directly affected, uh, but we have a country with a lot of violence. When you uh, turn on the TV or the media, the, the um, social com communication around our country is um, uh, with a lot of violence, violence all the time. And uh, in that perspective, uh, our students in their community and with their classmates um, are also uh, like with this um, behavior of violence. When uh, they talk to themselves with the language and with the behavior, uh, it's a consequence of this um, background of the conflict. And it's difficult for us as a teacher to uh, to work with this because it's it's a logic in their families, in their neighborhoods, and. And it's not directly affected uh, with the conflict. Uh, my school, where I worked uh, as a teacher and as a researcher, um, perceived this conflict as something that uh, affect as an as a national level. But um, at the local level, it's a kind of different because we received uh, a lot of students uh, with relatives from the uh, conflict, for example, demobilized it and uh, families, family relatives that are immersed in this kind of problem. Uh, so it's something so related with a lot of um to, a lot of things to do. Uh, this is one of the steps that we think um we are going to contribute to open the future as a topic that can be teach in, in Colombia. It's something new because, for example, as a personal experience with when I start to to research about future um five years ago when I was talking to my advisor Gustavo and and I wanted to work something related with the conflict in Colombia and also with my students as as um, a teacher researcher and he he told me uh, so what about if you study the future with your students and then I was so surprised how is that possible uh, can you teach the future and um, can you study the future and and just now uh, after these five years I I have learned a lot of things because um I think that this is this is it's, um big thing to to learn. Um, at the beginning, it was so difficult to explore to explore the subject in Spanish, be due to the few publications that I could find. Um, it's a research gap that uh, we have to to close with this kind of thesis in PhD. And um, then I found many backgrounds published in English in the Journal of Future Studies, for example, also uh, in, in journals like Futures, and uh, also in the Foundation Teach the Future. Uh, we've worked in by authors such as in Alatuja, Milojavik, Bell, Hibbs, Bishop, a lot of authors that were working in this topic. And it was amazing for me because I said, wow, this is great uh, to, to open the mind and to see a new world and new possibilities for us as this, uh, as my country that, uh, Sometimes we don't see a, a lot of options to do when the violence and when we want the peace uh, in, in all the territory. So um, researching in my own classrooms as a teacher generated changes in my practice to make it more flexible and context sensitive. Uh, for example, learning to listen to my students, uh, asking them questions and let them ask questions as well uh, allows me to generate those ch changes through the future. I think that that's so important in the background of the uh, we are working in. The, the, the participating, we're so happy to to see this in the class and to work about the future. It was a surprise too, as well as when I worked uh, with the future and also them. Uh, I remembered a question that one of the students made in the class. Uh, a boy said, but teacher, uh, how is that possible that in all the sessions we are working, the world future is all um, in the classes. Uh, we are hearing uh, all the time about the future, the future. And, and that's something that makes me um, think because uh, neither in my house we talk about the future. Uh, so I think that this is a um, kind of discovery that is uh, so great for the research we are doing. I, I want to add uh, some ideas or reflection about this question and uh, Brian, um, Luisa, uh, um, answer. So um, Colombia is a, a medium-sized country, so the internal conflict 
the internal conflict is um, in the borders or in the rural areas or the um, Amazonia uh, region, for example. So it's to, so far to the Santa Rosa uh, town. So in fact, Santa Rosa town is uh, in one area that is usually called um, uh, called to Eje Cafetero, cafeteria area or cafeteria central. So this area uh, maybe is one area that the um, social condition, social basic conditions that healthcare, education, uh, potable water, uh, some, something like others uh, indicator that is too high. So the conflict uh, not affect directly the Santa Rosa, not um, this area. So in fact, uh, this area received a lot of um, dismobilized or, or personnel that moved for uh, because of the conflict. So because the people found in this area, finding this area, a good level of life, a, a good condition to develop uh, their lives. So in this case, in specific in the in the Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa de Cabal town, maybe the most impact is the disequalities for the uh, uh, other for, for economic reason, but not for the conflict. So I found that the question about the in the chat about the about the neuro, neurobiological studies uh, that is, is too interesting. But maybe with other conflicts, it's possible to find that how this experience impact of impact the historical consensus, the historical memory, and the ideas of the future. But in the in the Colombian case, there are a gap, or gaps in this uh, kind of the studies. So maybe it's possible that, that we need to refer to other kind of conflicts that in Africa or in Middle East as uh, Palestine and, and Israel. But in specific, in Colombia, there are a gap uh, in this kind of the studies. Well, do right now, there are, after PSD, do right now, there are a lot of studies in different uh, approach with different approach about the impact the conflict in our lives yeah because we know that the long conflict around the 60 years uh, more or less that uh, has a strong uh, impact in our ideas about the society about the power about the uh, social welfare about the democracy indeed so but uh, for the reason maybe it's difficult to find this kind of thing maybe it's possible to find a little bit approach uh, mm, in a uh, psychoanalytic uh, approach, but not in neuro neurological studies, maybe. Thank you. I think Bazir has a question, Bazir. <laughs> 